Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive. I've got a uh, Audi Q7 here that we have a uh, injector problems. Actually, the sorry, just want to repeat that. The customer said that the injector has been changed various numerous times uh, due to a fault. So he, I think he's gone back <clears throat> to the shop and they've changed the injectors, all injectors now, they're brand new. So what we've done today was just want to eliminate the actual... Uh, any fault with the actual injector before we do it before we do anything else so we actually came here and have a look at the actual injector we go on through the injector um, these are injectors one two three four five six and the resistance of each inject injector at the plug and the injector is pretty much the same as you see here so I'm not going to check the injectors so the only thing I'm going to check after we uh, to the other stuff we're going to actually pop the actual DME and disconnect the DME and we're going to check the plug from here to this plug here of each injectors and make sure they're not broken or something's loose or something's um, causing the actual injector to come on because the customer said he can't drive the car more than a few months and some of the injector fault will come up again even though the injectors are brand new okay so but I'll stop there and ask uh, we've done a scan data fault, plugged the scan tool in and done a uh, scan data scan on this Audi Q7. And we come up with this uh, fault code here. As you can see, it's uh, P246300 and P200. And they're both active faults. All right, and if you look at the actual suit, the suit value, measured suit and the actual uh, calculated suit, this value here is very high. So we either get a brand new DPF and fit it to the car or we can actually uh, take, remove the old DPF off and send it away and get, get it commercially cleaned and they're going to give me a readout as well and they, it's pretty good, they give me a printout of how much um, grams they took out and how much grams after they clean it. So that's the next one but uh, while, we, uh, waiting for, while, we're, while we're waiting for the customer for the, to come back we're going to check the wiring harness from there. To the injectors uh, and then I'm gonna check the fuel pressures as well the actual high pressure pump which is at the back down here the high pressure pump uh, actual values and recommended values and we're gonna check the low pressure pump as well to make sure the low pressure pump is functioning properly all right so thanks for watching and please subscribe